I can't let him see me cry. Staying strong for her injured husband, a local couple was enjoying a Colorado vacation when a dive into a swimming pool landed him in the hospital. West Tuesday, McDaniel spoke with the man's wife as they battle his injury together. He needs to know that I'm strong. I will do whatever it takes to make sure that he makes it through. A simple dive into a swimming pool a few days ago landed 28 year old Sawyer Bartell in a Colorado hospital. One vertebra shattered, two others fractured. No feeling from his chest down and now a second surgery along with months of rehabilitation ahead before the couple can return to Seminole County. But there have been hopeful moments. I had my hand in his and I felt the muscles in his palm move and I looked back at him and he was staring at me and he goes, you felt that, didn't you? And I'm like, I did, I did. And I mean, immediately started tearing up because that is huge. Sarah tells me Sawyer has an amazing sense of humor. Even in the emergency room, when a doctor asked him what he goes by, he said Macho Man. And then he started to sing the song and it just like, you know, his humor has not gone. He's continued to laugh and joke. The couple has two daughters, one two and a half, the other seven months old. With family here in Florida, important updates are passed along to Colorado. We uh, heard that the, the seven month old is starting to get her top two front teeth, which is, you know, it's heartbreaking because like we're missing those moments. The high school sweethearts are keeping the faith, focusing on positivity. No guarantee he will walk again, but also no guarantee he won't walk again. My Sawyer is there, and we are up for a long road ahead, but he'll get there. In Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. A GoFundMe page, Sawyer's road to recovery, has been established to help the family as they work through rehabilitation out of state.